हेलो व्यूअर्स टुडे विल डिस्कस पॉलीजेनिक इनहेरिटेंस और क्वांटिटेटिव इनहेरिटेंस एज यू नो जनरली वन जीन इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ वन करेक्टर और यू कैन से कि वन करेक्टर इज डिसाइडेड बाय वन जीन बट देयर इज एन एक्सेप्शन ऑफ दिस रूल वेयर वन करेक्टर इज डिसाइडेड बाई मोर देन वन जीन्स सो वेन वन करेक्टर इज डिसाइडेड बाई मोर देन वन जीन्स दैट सिचुएशन इज कॉल्ड पॉलीजेनिक इनहेरिटेंस इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड क्वांटिटेटिव इनहेरिटेंस बिकॉज हेयर इट इज नॉट द क्वालिटी ऑफ जीन्स इट इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ जीन्स विच डिसाइड द फिनोटाइप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल राइट सो for this polygenic inheritance or quantitative inheritance uh, the example in case of human is the inheritance of skin color inheritance of height and inheritance of skin uh, intelligence skin color height and intelligence in human these are the examples of polygenic inheritance or quantitative inheritance in this particular polygenic inheritance Uh, the extreme phenotypes are very rare number of intermediates is much more secondly these polygenic characters or quantitative characters are very much affected uh, by environment okay so now we will discuss one example of polygenic character it is the inheritance of skin character uh, inheritance of skin color in human this example this particular inheritance was studied by c b davenport actually in human being the skin color is decided by the pigment melanin melanin pigment is responsible for the inheritance of skin color for the production of melanin pigment three genes are responsible a b and c for the synthesis for the production of melanin pigment three genes are responsible that's why it is an example of polygenic inheritance in negro where maximum pigment is there the genotype is capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c all the alleles are dominant so maximum pigment is produced here that's why these are negro whereas in white population small a small a small b small b small c small c all recessive alleles are there so there is no production of melanin pigment that's why these are white so in this uh, across or when in uh, negro and white marriage is there in f1 generation the intermediate skin color is produced because here 1 2 3 three dominant genes are there which are producing uh, melanin pigment here six genes producing pigment here zero genes for melanin and here three genes are there for the production of melanin pigment because it is the quantitative inheritance it is the quantity of genes which will decide so these intermediates are produced and these intermediates are called mulatto if one mulatto marries another mulatto then you know their genotypes capital a small a capital b small b capital c small c so when such a genotype is there then there is production of eight types of gametes there are three pairs heterozygous are there so eight types of gametes are produced by this parent by this uh, individual and eight types of gametes will be produced by this individual so eight and eight type of gametes are produced so naturally there will be 64 combinations 8 into 8 64 combinations in f2 generation and when it is calculated out of those 64 only one individual is there which is having six genes dominant one individual is there which is having zero gene dominant so it is six gene dominant it is negro negro zero gene dominant it is white so here out of 64 one and one two only are there which are similar to parents rest are intermediate six are having five gene dominants 15 are having four genes dominant 20 are here three genes dominant 
15 are there, 2 genes dominate, 6 are there, 1 gene dominate. So in F2 generation, here the ratio is 1, ratio 6, ratio 15, ratio 20, ratio 15, ratio 6, ratio 1. Here intermediates are 62 and parental types are only 1. Right? So when we compare this polygenic inheritance with normal monogenic inheritance, the normal situation, if it is a monohybrid situation, so in normal monohybrid situation, you know in F2 generation, 3 is to 1 ratio was obtained. But if it is quantitative inheritance, in monogenic, it is quantitative inheritance, so at the place of 3 is to 1, the ratio is 1 to 1, parental type 1 and 1 and two intermediates. If it is dihybrid situation, in normal inheritance, in dihybrid, ratio was obtained 9, 3, 3, 1. But if it is quantitative inheritance, in such a situation, at the place of 9, 3, 3, 1, the ratio obtained 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Here also, 1 and 1 is parental type and these are intermediate. And if it is trihybrid situation, as the example is before you, three genes are involved. So it is a trihybrid situation. In such a situation, the ratio is 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Here also, the parental types are 1 and 1 and rest are uh, intermediate. So uh, you can see here, by observing, the frequency distribution by observing the ratio by observing these ratios we may have idea about the number of genes involved for the inheritance of that particular character if this ratio is obtained one gene is involved if this ratio is obtained two genes are involved and if this ratio is obtained three genes are involved thank you very much